Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me and today's video is going to be all focused on a couple of new products that I'm going to be trying for you guys. So first we're just going to start out with my naked face and the two products that I'm going to be playing with today is the Stila glitter eyeshadows that come in like the tube thing, I don't know what they're called, and the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette. So first I'm just priming my face with the Professional Primer by Benefit. It's just a little sample size. I absolutely love this primer. It is amazing. So as far as foundation, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go with because as you guys know, I have a ton of different foundations. So the two that I decided to go with are these right here. The first one is the Maybelline Age, Defi Age Rewind, sorry, and the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm just going to be kind of mixing these two all over my face and blending them out with a foundation brush. Um, the Age Defy is a little too light and the Milani is a little bit of a darker color, so mixing these two kind of gave me the perfect color and the coverage that I wanted to do for this look. So I'm just kind of blending everything out with a brush and then going back over with a beauty blender to kind of smooth everything out so our foundation base is nice and ready. Moving on to some concealer, I'm going to be using the Broadway Cosmetics Concealer and first I'm just going to spot conceal on a few of my breakouts and then I'm going to go underneath my eyes and kind of conceal everything under there as well. As far as drugstore concealers, this one hands down is one of my all time favorites. I just love the way it covers and it's super super cheap, only a couple bucks at the dollar store if you can believe that and it's seriously amazing. Once my foundation and concealer was done, I'm going to be setting my face with the Kat Von D translucent powder, just this little sample size that I got from Sephora, and I'm just going to be taking a decent amount of this on a big powder brush and buffing this in all over my face to make sure everything is nice and set. Moving on to bronzer, I'm just going to be using this one by Avon right here, just a simple nice bronzer and I'm going to be bronzing my temples and my cheeks a little bit just to give my face a little bit more color and make me look, you know, more evened out and chiseled and not just one plain color. Then off camera, I quickly went and did my eyebrows. For eyebrows, I just used a CoverGirl eyebrow pencil and just filled those in. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, putting that all over my eyelids and also applying some tape on the outer corners of my eyelid as well. Then we can dip into this beautiful, amazing palette. I absolutely love, love, love these eyeshadows. I've been reaching for this palette a lot lately. So on just a small dense eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking that kind of nude shade from the palette and just starting to put this all over the eyelids so the other eyeshadows have something to blend on. Then I'm going to be taking that dark gray color that you guys just saw and on a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to be putting this just on the outer parts of my eye just to kind of start to smoke out that outer corner a little bit. Then I'm going to be taking this kind of neutral brown color and I'm going to be um, using this to kind of darken up my crease a little bit, just kind of buffing out all of the colors that we have already applied on the eyelid. Next, I'm going to be taking this black eyeshadow from the palette and on a small angled eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to be using a little tiny bit of this on the outer wing of the eyeshadow that we applied. I didn't want to make this too black, so I just used a very, very small amount of this on both of my eyes. And now we can dip into the fun stuff, which is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter Eyeshadow. And this shade that I'm using is in Diamond Dust. And basically it's kind of like a doe foot applicator. 
and without having to mess with any glitter glue or loose glitter or anything like that, this is basically all set in the tube for you. So I'm just taking a decent amount of this on the brush and putting this on the eyelid where we didn't apply any of the gray colors. And I'm just kind of packing this on both of my eyes, making sure not to go above the crease. I mainly wanted to stick this just right on the eyelid. These also dry super, super fast, and they look absolutely gorgeous once they dry. They don't dry patchy. I don't have to keep going over it and reapplying. It is just an absolute dream to use these rather than using like any sort of loose glitter for sure. I love them so much. So once everything was nice and down where I wanted it and nice and dry, I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and just creating a cat eye, leaving the tape on so we get that nice crisp edge on the outer part. Another cool thing is that the eyeliner went over these uh, this glitter eyeshadow perfectly. It wasn't like bumpy or anything like that. It just worked really, really well for me. So two thumbs up, I love this product. Very expensive, but I love it and totally worth it in my opinion. After the liquid eyeliner was all done, I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and do a little bit of cleanup. And then we are going to move on to the bottom part of the eye. I'm just gonna be using a black Jordana eyeliner and putting that on my waterline. And I also applied Stila Kitten eyeshadow in the inner corners. I totally forgot to record that part, I'm sorry. For my eyelashes, I used the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and I applied this to my top and bottom lashes. The best mascara I've ever tried takes the place of the Voluminous Butterfly in my opinion for sure. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna be using this little sample by Tarte and this is in Parte or Party or whatever. And I'm gonna be putting this on the apples of my cheeks, making sure that my cheeks have a nice bit of color to them. For the lips, I'm gonna be outlining them with just a natural uh, lip liner that I had for years. I think this one is by Milani, I'm pretty sure. And for lips today, I also wanted to use this little Tarte lip paint in Birthday Suit. And it's kind of like a liquid lipstick, but when you apply it, it feels like a creamy lipstick. It is seriously so good, and the color is absolutely gorgeous. The second to last step is, of course, highlighter, and I really wanted to use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Summer Snow Cone Skin Frost. It is a beautiful, bright yellow color, and the glow it gives you is just hands down gorgeous. I love this highlighter so much. It's like, it's a must. Like, you need to have this highlighter. Then I just set everything with an e.l.f. makeup mist and set, and the look was complete. Okay guys, so that's everything that I have for this makeup look. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.